Hello. With this video, let's understand how to enter data in IBM Planning Analytics Workspace. There are two basic ways to enter data into IBM Planning Analytics Workspace. First, you can go and manually enter data into IBM Planning Analytics Workspace. And second, copy the data from Excel worksheet and paste it into the workspace. Apart from that, there is data spreading option available. IBM Planning Analytics Workspace provides a variety of predefined data spreading methods that you can use to distribute numeric data to multiple cells. There are two methods to perform data spread activity. First is graphical data spread method, and second is with the help of shortcut keys. For graphical way data spread, we follow these steps. 1. Right-click on the cell from which you want to initiate data spreading. 2. Click on Spread Data option. 3. Select a data spreading method. 4. Specify the required values and options like data direction. And last, click on Apply. We can use all these data spreading methods, but here we will take an example of relative proportional spread. There are a few fundamental concepts. Before entering the data, you want to look at cell color. If the cells appear dark gray or green, these cells are locked or rule-driven cells. However, white cells are editable. Right-click on cell and click on Spread Data tab. Select Relative Proportional Data Spread option. Relative Proportional spreads values to leaves of a consolidated cell proportional to leaves of a reference cell. The reference cell can be from the same cube or a different cube. In this case, we will refer budget numbers to populate the forecast. Considering the current situation, we will assume that we will sell 15,000 units. We get three options here. First one is replace, which replace existing data. Second option is add which keep original data as it is and adds new value. Last option is subtract. It minus value from existing data value. You can see here, the data has been spread within seconds. Now, for shortcut way data spread, we use below symbols. With the help of this symbol, we can spread data in multiple direction, like right, left, up and down. Suppose, if you want to add, subtract data for a particular cell. Or if you want to increase or decrease data in terms of percentage, so you can refer to this table. Let's look at an example. Here, I am adding some numbers to the existing value. To add value in particular cell, you can use add words or plus sign. You can increase the row by percentage with the help of shortcut keys. Type INC, then enter value, and type greater than sign. This will increase the value by 10%. Now, let's reduce the numbers of July month. Instead of performing all the steps, we will use shortcut key feature, and we will type P% 50 and press enter. And you can see the updated numbers. You can use various data spread options. Now, in this case we will use hold feature. The hold feature gives you the ability to do full top-down data spread or partial data spread. All you have to do is select a cell on which you want to apply hold. Right-click on the cell and click on hold option. As soon as you apply hold on a particular cell, you can see a pause symbol appeared at the left side of the cell. This shows you that the cell is on hold and the value will not change. Now, we have ability to change the values at a consolidated level. We will reduce the value of August month by entering an absolute value. 
you can see that the other values changed, but not the one which we kept on hold. You can always release the holds by selecting release hold option. In this table we have given some examples using shortcut method. If you want to enter the value in thousands and in millions, then there is no need to type the entire value. You must enter K or M after the values. That's it for now. Thanks for watching this video.